Hi, I'm Treasure Goddess Christine. Welcome to my very first uh, knitting video podcast. Yay! Today we're going to talk about super coils. Um, I am a huge fan of art yarn and textured yarn. This is my coils cowl. Pattern is on Ravelry called Coils Cowl, um, also on Etsy. And um, come on in, say hi, and nice to meet you all. Hi, I'm Treasure Goddess Christine, and I want to show you a couple of fun things you can do with super coils. Uh, what is super coils, you ask? I'm glad you asked. Super coils is an amazing kind of yarn that is basically one continuous yarn made of coils. It is a super coil. Oh. Um, super coils are all kinds of fun. They um, are fun to spin. They're even more fun to work with. As soon as I got home from J.C. Boggs' class, uh, she's also known as Insubordinate, I took one of, I've taken two of her um, art yarn spinning classes or textured yarn spinning classes. And the first thing I wanted to do when I got home was do something with this amazing yarn. Um, so, you know, the first thing I did was get a bowl, put it in a lovely bowl. It's beautiful. That's nice. That's great. But I, I want to wear it. I want to use it. So I kind of came up with some fun little quick, easy uh, projects to do. And so basically, well, I'm going to show you two of them. The first thing as I'm modeling here with some of my own hand spun super coils. Also available at www.treasuregoddess.etsy.com or just come to treasuregoddess.com and say hi on my blog. Um, one of the very first and easiest things to do, uh, let's say I've got here about four and a half, five yards of super coils. Fun, turquoise, amazing super coils um, yarn. So I just take the ends. If, you're, if your spinner is kind and has left you some ends that are not coiled, and then there's a knot and the actual coils begin, take the ends and just tie them together. Plain old overhand knot, no big deal. Right here, tuck the ends in. Let them hang, and you've got a gigantoid uh, circle, rectangle, not rectangle, circle, oval, whatever. So we've got this hanging down, it goes for quite some time. Then take your ends and just kind of ignore the ends that are hanging off. Just kind of make yourself a, uh, a super circle, like a figure eight, and you're just looping the looping it around and around until you have um, you're building up circles on top of itself. I've got one that's about this is one hand across to the other, basically um, maybe two feet in diameter, length, circumference. I don't know, not circumference. That's all the way around from one end to the other diameter. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm already going without talking. One end, stick your thumb in the hole, just hang on to it. The other hand, start twisting. Twisting and twisting and we're twisting and we're twisting and we're twisting, 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 twisting. This uh, circle can be any size you like. If you want a longer necklace, make it bigger. You want a shorter uh, necklace, make it shorter. Very good. Twist until you've got this nice little twist going. And then your ends, you've still got little loops at them. You can at this point either do, let me take this one off and I'll show you. Wrap around your neck. This one's kind of a little bit longer. Again, we're ignoring the ends until we're done. We'll figure out what to do with them later. I'll show you what to do with them later. Tuck one end into the other. And you've got kind of a bow low tie, ignoring those ends that are hanging out. At the end, basically, we'll just take the tail end and weave it through the uh, super coils there. There you've got a little bow low tie. Lovely. Or um, if you'd like to take the twist, tie a little overhand knot in the middle. Um, this gives kind of a neat little almost a little rosette look to it. That's in the middle. Again, your ends, you can either um, shove one into the other, tie ribbons around the ends, tie them together, use a little um, alligator type shawl clasp and um, hold the ends together. I just like to shove one end into the other and be really high tech. And there's another lovely little texture with an end hanging out. Another pretty little textured necklace you can wear. I mean, it's lovely. It's amazing what you can do. It's easy. Just twist them up. Um, and your, undo it in your circle. You could do uh, different lengths of the circle so that you've got different ones hanging across, you know, at different little drapes down. And again, just kind of work with it. If you like some that are short, some that are long, get kind of a, that's kind of weird, get kind of a neat little look going. Wear your yarn. Wear the things that you've created. They're beautiful. Use something with them and use them. I just think that's, you know, that's a fun little look. It makes a whole new look for you. It's easy. And you're showing off this amazing piece of art that you have either made or bought from another hand spending artist. So yay yarn. Get out there and do something with it. Okay, that was a super easy little bit. Again, the ends, um, 
whenever you decide what you want to do with something, you can thread this little end onto a darning needle and then just run the needle in and out through these little coils along here and then pull it tight, snip off the ends, you're good to go. Okay, so that was number one. Actually, number two, because number one was putting it in a bowl, sitting it on a shelf. Ha, ah, beautiful. But it's much more fun to use things. Okay, this one is another Super Coils yarn. And sorry, the color goes crazy with my camera. It wants to see all of these lovely Super Coil lusciousness. Okay, this one has just got some wool and some um, silk and some... Uh, milk, pro milk protein, I think is what it was, which is really, really soft. And oh my gosh, you really want this up against your skin. It's amazing, you know, but people frown upon you wearing it, just you know, drape it across your face. So another fun thing to do, make yourself a slip knot. And I'm going to assume you know how to make a slip knot because I'm not good at teaching that. You loop an end over, you pull it through. Oh, hell. So basically I can't even do it there. Okay. So get yourself a slip knot and now, you've got a slip knot coming with just a little short little nubby end hanging off. What you're going to do is poke your finger and thumb through, and you're going to grab the long hanging tail of your um, super coils. Pinch it up, pull it through the loop, voila, do it again. So you've got this cute little weird coiled texture thing going. Basically, you're crocheting with your fingers. So the fingers come through, they pick it up, pull it through the loop. Fingers through, pick it up, pull it through the loop. And you're doing this very loosely. Super coils are uh, not a very forgiving yarn. I will give you that. They are super and awesome to work with, uh, but they're not a lot, not a lot of give on here. So you want to be gentle as you work with these. Uh, pinch through, just keep that going. Again, pull up and just kind of adjust as you go. Pull up, fingers through, grab the yarn, pull it through. And the more texture you have in your super coils, look at how fun that is, the better. Um, this works fine with nice and normal yarn too, but it's so much more fun with all this texture and funkiness. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. As you get a good rhythm going, you just keep yourself going all the way along. Okay, so we're coming to the end of our super coil. See how there's coils, 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 and then a knot. Actually, it's a couple of knots. And then fluff, which is just uh, the fiber that was used to spin the singles that we spun onto this. Okay, so I'm coming to the end. I'm going to pull instead of just pulling out a loop and keep going because I have nowhere to go, pull the tail through and just kind of halfway snug it up, but again being gentle. Lightly snug it up to where it wants to stay. Then you've got this little bit hanging over. So this one, it was started out as about um, a yard and a half. Not very much at all. I mean, tiny little bit of hand spun yarn here. So at the end, I tie my little fluffy knot coiled part. I'm tying a little loop with the knot sticking off. And I'll do the same thing over here. Just take myself a little loop and I'll tie that into a knot. And I'm not showing you at all what I'm doing. I'm sorry. So I'm just tying a little knotty. Do, 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 do. So that each end of my cool, awesome creation has these little, little circle things. At the ends of these, I can take a little ribbon, if I so choose, and, you know, tie it through there. And then as I go around my neck, I can hook it through the other end. And I'll show you. I'll flip it around to show you what that. Ah, or I'll drop it. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Ribbon. Hole. Through the hole. Dang it. I am really not clumsy at all. I know you can tell that from here. Okay. Ribbon. Through. I'm going to tie off this side just for fun. If you had two pieces of ribbon, probably be easier. Tie yourself a little ribbon. Going to go around the other side. <laughs> And then through the other loop, I'm going to tie again. And then I can tie this into a little bow. That way, my necklace is set. I have this neat, coiled, little, cool chain. I guess it's a chain of super coil. It's a super chain. A super chain of super coils that I did with my fingers. And how lovely does that look? It's cool. I mean, super coils are the most fun you can have to work with yarn. And talk about instant gratification. Holy cow, we did that in like, what, 30 seconds, even with me dropping everything five times? Okay, so fun to do. Take, twist, 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 put around your neck, you're good to go. Use ribbons, shove the ends through, get official. You could do like a bead on one side or a um, button on one side and go to, go to town. Awesome. Um, the neat thing about this little twist technique or uh, finger chain technique, crocheting with your fingers, is you can do this with any yarn. 